Hello guys, welcome to my second tutorial on adding data dynamically in .NET Framework. In this video, we would see how to create UI of the website. Creating UI is simple in Visual Studio. Let me show you how it is done. I will open this Visual Studio, and you may also see the same page. Now, go to File, Create New Website. Click Visual C Sharp, and then ASP.NET Empty Website. It will take some time. In my machine, it takes about 2 seconds to open. Now, the project is loaded. Now go to the Solution Explorer tab. In my machine, it's on top left corner. Now, I click this Auto Hide button, and I will double click this web.config file. The code of the web.config pops up. Now here, we will make some changes. Change the debug value to true. Let me do it. We are doing this to test our website on our local machine. For that, debugging is necessary. Now control yes to save this file. Now close this web.config file. In the solution explorer tab, right click this project, and select add new item. As you can see, Visual Studio supports a lot of things. For this tutorial, click web form. I am okay with its default name which is default.aspx. One of the advantage of building websites in ASP.NET is you can design websites by dragging and dropping elements from toolbox. Currently, we are in the source tab. Let me click the design tab and the design tab pops up. Now I will open the toolbox. I would encourage you to explore the toolbar. Let me drag and drop the label. Now, I am right clicking the label tab, and clicking properties. Again, I would encourage you to explore the properties. The property we are going to change is text. Let me write name in it and press enter. Likewise, place text box and submit button and other labels. All things in place. The form looks like this. It is still missing a piece, which is our table. Before adding the table, let me remind you the label 3 visibility should be set as false. We will see why in next tutorial. Now, we are adding a SQL database. Go to the Solution Explorer tab, right click, add new item, scroll down, add SQL database and then click OK. Yes. We should add the database in app data folder. Now, the database has been created. I am now closing the Solution Explorer tab, and opening the Server Explorer tab. Now right click the folder tables, click add new table. It will take some time to load. Now, our column name would be name and it is of type NCARE of 50. Now control yes to save the table. Close the table. Drag and drop the name table inside the design tab of the nalco.aspx and it will process something. Notice what all happened. It has created a SQL data connection for us automatically. Now, let me debug this project. It would process, and it would open in Mozilla Firefox. It will take some time to load. There you go. We have created the outline of the website. Next tutorial discusses about the backend coding in C Sharp to insert data from this text box. See you soon.